All right, what's up guys? So this is literally like a minute after that last video, episode three just ended. So now this is the start of episode four, but I just got a call from the Mac, my athletic club, that I can come in and do a body composition test. I can fly. Okay, so I'm back from the Multnomah Athletic Club. I just did my in-body composition test. The only problem is it's not the full one where you go in the water. It's the electrical one where you hold on to you, the handles and your feet are on these electrical like nodes and then it analyzes your body through like electrical pulses and stuff. So if we go through the in-body stuff, basically dry lean mass is 43.7 pounds and my body fat mass is 5.1 pounds. So my lean body mass is 160.3 pounds, and my total weight that I weighed in there was 165. So that's actually low. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go off this. So I should probably gain another five pounds. Is what I'm trying to do, five to ten pounds. So yeah, my weight here is 165.3. My skeletal muscle mass is 93.5 pounds. So I'm above average on the the muscle mass, and I'm right where I should be on my weight. But this is for an average person. This isn't really for like an athlete. So, um, and then my body fat is 5.1. My body fat mass is 5.1 pounds. So I'm in the very low spectrum for that. If we go down to the obesity analysis, I'm right in the 21.8 body mass index, which is pretty much right in the middle of where I should be. I'm not <laughs> obviously too skinny or too fat. Here, my body fat percentage is 3%. That's what it says. I know I'm not 3% body fat. If I'm gonna guess, I would say between six and eight percent body fat right now that's my guess again it's not 100 percent accurate on the fat measurements but if it's three percent now and i did it and i actually did if you guys can see i did two tests i made i asked to do it again because i didn't think i was three percent body fat and it became all the numbers are almost exactly the same so like I said, it's very precise. It doesn't vary that much, but it's not that accurate. And then this breaks down like my, uh, the muscle mass on every arm and my fat. So this is pretty much exactly where I, I'm the ideal weight for my arms, my trunk and my legs. So I'm pretty, I'm very proportionate. That's what I'm getting from that. So again, the key thing to realize is that this is just uh, not 100% accurate. I know I'm not 3% body fat. If I were to guess, it'd be between six and 8%. And again, the whole thing is to see how I am. If I, my muscle mass goes up and my body fat percentage stays the same, I'm happy. If my muscle mass goes up and my body fat percentage goes down, I'm happy. If my muscle mass goes down and my body fat goes up, I'm not happy. So that's just a way to track your progress. It's not really to be 100% accurate. And then also, it uh, calculated my basal metabolic rate at 1,941 kilocalories which is pretty much exactly what I thought. I did all of my calories and my meal plan based off that I was 1900 basal metabolic rate. So I'm pretty much exactly dead on there. So I calculated that good. So I'm happy about that. Everything's good. So today is still Monday, if you guys remember, like I said before. So that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you the full lift and uh, training session as well. What's up guys, so I just finished my weightlifting session at the gym today. It was like a hypertrophy day, so it really just kind of go in and make stuff up. We did a lot of triceps, biceps, and calves, just really just for fun. I didn't film it because I don't want you guys to get confused. This is not part of my weightlifting program. This is more just like a for fun thing. Right now, I'm just reading all of your guys' comments on my YouTube channel. I just uploaded episode three, so I'm just doing that. I have about 15 minutes to kill, and then I'm going over to the field to train. Today's passing. I'm gonna film the entire session. So I'm at the field. I got my boots on. I'm all ready to start my warm up. My dad, it's like 7.45 a.m. right now. My dad should be here at 8 a.m. because I'm doing a passing workout today, a passing training session. So I need one other person. Good morning. Morning, morning. How's it going? <sighs> all right, so I got some good passing drills set up.
Okay, so this is the complete first set, and I want to show you how bad it is. I'm aiming for the top right corner, and I didn't hit it once. I'm going to let you watch this, and I'm going to show you some shots from my very last set. We did four sets, and I want you to see the improvement. Now here's my complete set with the left foot. Then I went to crosses from the corner of the 18 yard box, aiming for the lacrosse goal, but I'm really just trying to whip it in around that area. But this is every single cross that I took in the practice. I didn't get rid of anything. I'll let you watch. All right, so I just finished the training session. It was a really good one, all focused on that crossing, that whip action. Hopefully, by the end of off season, those crosses are gonna be a lot more accurate. That's the plan, that's the goal. We'll see if it works. Thanks to my dad for coming out. I really appreciate that, it's really cool of him. Okay, I'm back in my house. I just got back from the training session. It's like 10.30 in the morning. Now I'm gonna show you my goal journal. I think that having like a goal journal or something where you're writing down your goals, your thoughts, your feelings, is instrumental in improving and staying dedicated to improving your game because it's just something about having it written down on paper that makes it like permanent that makes it that when you look back at it you're like did i achieve this so i love doing this and i've been doing it for over it's almost two years now so this is the gold journal that i've had since the very end of 2014 at the start of 2015 um i just wrote path to pro and this was just gonna be my journal of my pursuit of getting a professional contract. Um, so you see like the very first entry is January 2nd, 2015. And it's just really cool because I just have pages and pages and pages of just my thoughts, my feelings, everything from my whole pursuit of getting a professional contract. And it's cool to read that and see my mentality there and just reflect and see how far I've come until now. So right now, I'm just gonna take you through a typical like entry into this journal. So the first thing that I do is just date it at the top. So October 25th, 2016. I give it a little title like the first week of off season and then I just start writing. I really don't have that much of a, like a format to how I write, but I'll just read it for you, you know. Tested all of my lifts, sprints, jumps and crosses for a baseline. Excited to see how my off season training affects my performance. Body is feeling great. Little sore, but no aches slash pains. Mentally, I'm great. I'm the most motivated and excited I've ever been due to I can't show you this part until later just because I just want to make sure everything's official. The, and the new YouTube series. So I'm just, the YouTube series is really motivating me to really stay dedicated too because I don't want to let any of you guys down and I really don't want to let myself down. 
I think that my training is so good because for the first time since junior year of college, I have no pressure slash anxiousness of where I'm going for the next year or next season slash fear of finding a team. That's huge for me because my junior year going into my senior year, you know, you can really relax and just focus on improving because you know that you're going to play your senior year. You know you have a team. But then during my senior year, and then once I left college and started training, I didn't have a contract. I didn't have anything for sure. I was really just training to train. And I had no idea if I was going to be in America or if I was going to be a different country. I had no idea where I was going to go. I had no idea if I was going to be offered anything or even invited into tryouts. And having that like anxiousness of not knowing and just really, it's scary. And it's like, and it really it affects you every day. It kind of wears you down as people keep on asking you, what's, what's your deal? You dropped out of school. Where are you going? What's your plan? And you just really have to say, I'm just training. I'm looking for opportunities. And it's hard. But now that I do have something in the works for next year, and I can focus on training without having that anxiousness about getting a contract, it's awesome. So it's, I'm in a lot better place than last year time going back into it so it says crosses have been bad i'm already seeing improvement and want to stay dedicated to improving that really want to increase strength with little weight gain so i just have little things like that what i'm feeling what i'm working on how what just my thoughts everything i don't know it's not like a set regimen but then at the bottom what i do is just write goals and i have goals for today tomorrow the week the month off season and my ultimate goal and so i pretty much work backwards so i start down here my ultimate goal is to make the MLS. In off season, I want to become faster, stronger, leaner, 100% sharp, and I want to be fit. So 100% sharp is just all my technique, my first touch, my passing, my shooting, everything kind of falls under there. I want to be have my skills very, very sharp. My goal for the month is to stay healthy, a slow progression, and stick to the plan. This is like the biggest thing. I don't want to rush too far into it. I have uh, this is the first month. I want to really kind of work my way into it. My goal for the week is to follow the first week of the off-season plan exactly. I really want to stay dedicated to it. Tomorrow, I want to complete all my lifts and my strength gain workout. And I want to have a great first touch session. So if you remember from, I think, a video ago or two videos, I'm not sure. But it, I think it was last video. Wednesday is my first touch day. And today, I wanted 50 crosses from both feet. I wanted a fun and easy lift and to stick to my diet. And so far I've been really, really good on my diet. I got 50 crosses in today. I did the easy lift with my friend Mike and um, I've been sticking to my diet. This is the third day I think on the diet and it's going great. I love it. So that's my goal journal. I know like a, a ton of you guys have always been asking about this and, um, but there really is no format. I mean, this is just the way I do things. And, and some people comment too, like, should I do your off season plan? Should I do my goal journal? How do you do your goal journal? Um, I just This is just the way I do it. You don't have to do it my way, but this is what I like, this is what I do, there's no format. I really just kinda do whatever I feel. And so if you like it and you wanna copy it, go for it. Am I saying this is the best way? Am I saying that you have to do this if you wanna be a pro? No, I'm just showing you what my life is like and what my off-season training is. So that's it for today. I'm about to take a shower, I'm about to change, I'm gonna take a nap, I'm gonna edit this video that you're watching right now. I gotta do some stuff, answer emails, all that boring stuff, and then I'm going to the Blazer game tonight with my dad. So as always, like the video, subscribe, and comment. Again, I wanna thank all of you guys for liking the video because this really does help the channel grow, and it's been growing really fast, and that's 100% thanks to you guys smashing that like button, so thank you for that. All right, guys, I'm about to hop in the shower, and you guys can't see this. I can fly